Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pager here once again with another video on Stargirl, and this is going to be my trailer breakdown for the finale for Season 1, otherwise known as Episode 13, otherwise entitled Stars and Stripe Part 2. But of course, let's watch that trailer before we get into anything else. Kill your daughter and your husband. Let's go. So yeah, last episode was obviously Stars and Stripe Part 1, where pretty much we had heaps of setup for this episode. There was some bows tied, if you want to call it, or stories closed off, or at least part of a story closed off, and then the book's going to be reopened maybe in this episode, or maybe next season, such as, of course, um, Principal Bowen, aka the new Fiddler, if you want to call it, getting shot by Tigress, another ISA member killing another ISA member, which is uh, pretty insane. And then, of course, pretty much the rest of the episode was just setting up uh, the big ISA plan commencing. So Brainwave being the the power source for it all, all of it starting off. And of course, as, as we saw at the end of the episode, Pat, Barbara, and Justin all under control. And the cliffhanger, if you want to call it that, was uh, Stripe being taken over and, uh, well, at least aiming at Courtney with a punch. Who knows if it actually connects? We'll have to wait and see how episode or part two, might I say, uh, picks up from if that's english but of course before we get into the breakdown of the trailer we will quickly go over the synopsis or description for the episode as it does shine more light on certain things and um yeah but of course throughout the video throughout the trailer breakdown be sure to let me know your various thoughts opinions theories anything like that in the comment section down below intrigued to see what you guys have to say on this finale we're looking forward to the most do you have any theories as to how the season's going to end the cliffhanger anything like that i'm super curious to hear what you guys have to say so let me know down there and of course if you're going to enjoy the video and you're just uh, looking forward to seeing this episode and you've just enjoyed stargirl this season why not drop a like on the video to show your support for the channel and the stargirl videos as the injustice society of america come one step closer to accomplishing their mission Courtney and the JSA face off with Icicle and the villains of the ISA. Now, the trailer pretty much continues where we left off in the episode, and I would say the trailer bounces around the episode a bit in regards to certain set pieces, which you'd expect, but for a finale, sometimes they keep it a bit condensed, but I think the trailer sort of bounces around the episode a good amount. But I don't think I'd be the only one to think that there is still some epic things that are going to go down this in this, uh, you know, this episode, or this finale, that aren't revealed yet in the episode or even hinted at too much. And there is actually a pretty big moment, which could be seen as a spoiler, which is going to be going down this episode. I will leave bringing that up. It's public, it's out there, but a lot of you guys might not know it. So I'm going to leave bringing it up until much later in the video. But I will give you like the, the heads up before we you know, bring that moment up. So don't worry, I'm not going to just like... Throw it in your face without warning, I'll let you know. But um, yeah, starting with the trailer, we actually have Stargirl versus Stripe, a take uh, from what actually did happen in the Stars and Stripe comic series, and it happens around the same time in that story as well to what we're seeing here. It was under sort of different circumstances, but still fairly simi uh, similar. Now, it will be interesting to see how they snap not only Pat Dugan and Stripe out of all of this, but also Barbara and Sir Justin. As I think Sir Justin, you know, under the control of the ISA with that sword, wouldn't be the easiest person to take down, unless Justin and maybe Barbara as well are a part of that 25% that would be at risk of death, as they would try and resist the brig programming, if you want to call it, that the ISA is transmitting out to, what, around 50% of the USA. But I would expect we get a fairly cool opening sequence with the mind-controlled Pat in the stripe suit, as well as maybe other people in Blue Valley feeling the effects of what's going on. Now, followed by this in the trailer is actually this huge satellite dish coming out of the ground underneath the Blue Valley High football field. Once again, very resonant from the comic series. I would think this is towards the beginning of the episode, but then again, there was 30 minutes until Brainwave was finished, so maybe the satellite dish comes out of the ground after that 30 minutes is completed, or at least, you know, close to it being finished, maybe like with five minutes to go or something. Now, you can see a bunch of children and, and adults on the football field, obviously most likely part of the Blue Valley family or the Blue Valley High family. Uh, I do wonder if we will see, you know, some fighting going on between them two, uh, the, well, those two groups of people. In the comics, it's a flip on this whole scenario. Like, it wasn't adults being taken over. It is actually the kids that are being take uh, taken over. So, and you get some... They don't, they don't dive heaps, like, you know, heaps, like, into a lot of depth with it in the comics. But it would be interesting to see if they do have these two groups fighting each other. Um, but yeah, it'll be interesting regardless. 
I will kill your daughter and your husband. That was a terrible impersonation. Anyway, that's Jordan, aka Icicle to Barbara. Now, this does appear to be on top of the Project New America building, and I would guess that Barbara and Beth get caught either in the building or on the way out, you know, one of the two. But it will be interesting to see when in the episode this takes place exactly, as we will get to a battle in this trailer in a second. But does this scene with Barbara and Jordan come before that battle or after it? Obviously, it could be either, but I think it would be cool if the ISA, for the most part, is taken down by the new JSA in the tunnels, but Jordan is able to get away and then targets Barbara as a last resort. Or this could easily be before that and he is threatening her as he is about to take himself and the other ISA members down into the tunnels to take on the new JSA and in their eyes hopefully kill them. So this could be, you know, Jordan just being cocky and going, hey, Barbara, guess what? Your daughter and your husband are almost going to be gone. Got any last words for them? So yeah, but regardless, it should be good and extremely dramatic just the way we like it. Now, there is a really quick moment in this trailer, and that's actually Stargirl versus Shiv. You might not even have seen it because you pretty much have to, like, slow it down frame by frame to see um, Cindy's, you know, checkered pants sort of thing. Now, I guess the big question around this is whether it's going to be a small fight or maybe it's a fight that goes down after the ISA is taken down. Obviously, Cindy's locked up, so maybe the battle goes on and a blast from, let's just say, Courtney's cosmic staff hits her door and it opens up and then she's released. Um, this could be setting up season two with Cindy. I would say she would have to be a 100% for sure character to carry over into season two in regards to, you know, quote unquote, the bad guys, even though I'm sure we will see a good amount of the other ISA members continue on in, in the show as well. I just wouldn't be able to give you a complete list, but I would say, well, at least I think that Cindy for, um, is a 100% chance of continuing on. But I am interested to see what they do with Cindy, aka Shiv, in this episode to move her character forward. Whatever happens to her father, which might motivate her, and various things like that. But of course, we've had stuff happen to Sydney, uh, Cindy, sorry, over well since episode seven, I guess, that um, might have made her go. Well, you know what? I might start my own ISA, which would line up with the comics in a certain way. So it'll be interesting to see what they do there. Now, of course, the iconic stuff that had been in trailers before the show even started, and that's actually the JSA versus ISA final battle. Now, the JSA consists of Stargirl, Hourman, Wildcat, Stripe, and Shining Knight. It is important to remember that Dr. Midnight would be with Barbara at the New America building. And of course, we do have the ISA consisting of Tigress, Sportsmaster, Dragon King, and Icicle. So the JSA actually is an upper hand. They have five, while the, uh, the ISA, at least from what we can tell here, only has four. However, this could be edited and something might be removed, which we'll come back to very soon. So th this actually could be a five on five battle. But of course, Brainwave isn't here. Now, I think I remember seeing a behind the scenes montage thing with Brainwave at the New America building while Beth was there as well. So I would assume that's where he is. And that is probably the smart move as he would be way too overpowered in this battle. However, they could make it that he is like weak and a bit powerless for a certain period of time due to being like the battery and the power source for I the, the ISA's plan. So maybe it's smart of him to do something else while the others battle, but I'm sure we'll find out in the episode. Now, before we jump into some of the potential spoiler stuff for this episode, we will jump into the promo images that were released. There's only four of them, uh, but they're fairly interesting. So the first one is actually our man without his mask. So this is the first time we've seen this sort of look. It's actually really, really cool. I think um, Cameron Goldman looks really cool in the suit without the mask on. Um, this looks like it's after the battle. If you look at his face, it's all cut up. It looks like someone rips off his mask potentially. Um, so yeah, looks pretty cool. The next one is actually Wildcat and in front of one of those doors that like when Cindy was in, um, well, maybe not, I think it's just a random door actually. All the doors look fairly similar in that, um, that ISA headquarters, especially like Dragon King's lab and stuff. Um, but I don't know what she's looking at. She's just looking at something, but this is a really cool, like standoff shot. We actually have two in a row, like with like the, the lineups we have the, the new JSA here with Stripe in the background and Shining Knight with his sword and stuff looks pretty cool. And we have the ISA with Icicle in the, in the getup, but not with the, the blue Icicle skin. And he's not like that in the, that like that fight sequence thing. He's not iced up. So maybe he, maybe, it's, maybe they made the trailer before the VFX was done. I don't know. But it, yeah, so he's doesn't, he doesn't have the icicle look going. He's not all blue and stuff. So regardless, they look cool here. So yeah, but let's jump into some of that spoilery stuff. Oh, there's one major spoilers thing here. Like one, one thing that's really only a spoiler and the, the rest is just like theories and stuff. So the first thing, here's the spoiler warning. So if you didn't want to hear it, 
Here we go. So Breck, uh, Breck Bassinger, who plays Courtney Whitmore, revealed in an interview that Solomon Grundy will actually be in this like big final battle that we're going to be seeing, or at least the JSA will take on Grundy in a battle. However, I would assume that maybe he's going to be in that lineup that we saw, because as I said, it was five JSA, JSA members versus four ISA. So maybe uh, Grundy would be behind the ISA, similar to how Stripe is behind the JSA. So it wouldn't surprise me if that's going to be what happens there. Um, of course, we know that Rick was trying to like Grundy out in one of those previous episodes. So maybe the door gets even weaker. Maybe Grundy's been smashing on it every now, every uh, now and then, and he gets out himself. So after the J, uh, the ISA is taken down, Grundy gets out, and the JSA have to JSA have to take him on. However, it wouldn't surprise me if Grundy is actually a part of that big battle we see there. So it is actually five on five rather than five JSA versus uh, four ISA. But um, yeah, Grundy's a part of this episode. So if you've been wondering when he's coming, he's coming now. Obviously, there are going to be some questions heading into this episode. And I think that one of the bigger ones is whether Henry Jr. is going to show up alive or not, or maybe that someone has his body or something like that. I think that's something that they would need to do. I think if he's going to be in season two, I think they would have to show it now because I think it would get spoiled. Like by the time they get to filming and stuff, it get revealed that he's on set. Um, like Jake Austin Walker, I think the guy's name is who plays Henry. Um, it get revealed by then. So if they're going to say that Henry's going to be a thing in the future, I think they have to show him in this finale. Like it could be like the cliffhanger for the season, like the end credit scene or something like that. But yeah, I think they have to either show him alive or maybe that they have his body, something along those lines, but that's a possibility in this episode. But in regards to an all round cliffhanger that maybe doesn't involve Henry Jr., there are some possibilities. I've mentioned this guy before, Johnny Sorrow in Stars and Stripe in the comic series. He shows up right at the end and takes Cindy, aka Shiv, with him to make his new ISA or his new Injustice Society. So that's a possibility, especially if a lot of the ISA is actually taken down or captured. If they're all either killed or captured, and maybe Cindy's the only one to walk away without getting captured, he could show up and that could set up season two. Another possibility is maybe setting up another JSA member or potential JSA member. So someone like Jakeem Thunder, or maybe even teasing the Green Lantern and someone maybe taking up that mantle. That's a couple of possibilities there. Or maybe Liberty Bell, maybe Jesse Quick, Jesse Chambers coming in, something along those lines I could set up. I, I'm, I'm curious. I think it's going to be... If, if you ask me what I think it's going to be, I would say it's either setting up something ISA related for season two or a new JSA member. Um, but it could be the Henry thing. Who knows what they're going to do, but it's, I can't wait to see what the cliffhanger is because we're going to be sitting on that cliffhanger for almost a year. Um, cause Stargirl's probably not coming out to the middle of next year in regards to season two. So it's going to be a long wait. But yeah, heading into this finale, I'm looking forward to, I think this season's been just so good. Been one of the best, uh, first seasons, just any season of DC TV in general, and I can't wait to see how they wrap it off, uh, wrap it up, and then also set up season two. It's going to be a blast. Can't wait. Can't wait to discuss it with all of you next week. Um, so yeah, but thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome if you could drop a like on it. Show your support. Let me know in the comments section down below your various opinions on this trailer. What you're looking forward to the most? Any theories? Let me know all of them down there in the comments section down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And I will catch you guys later. Goodbye.